Today we worked on telling time and clearly from a clock. And so just to start, we made it really simple with only nine, three, six, and 12, looking at those. And so we went over how the difference between the hour hand and the minute hand. With the hour hand, there would be either pointing at the number. It generally might point in between the number, five and six, and that's how you know. If it's in between, you always go to the number before it. In this case, that'd be five. And we talked about how with the minute hand, even if it's pointing at a nine, it doesn't actually mean nine. What it means, you it's a multiple of five. Each of these adds up five, and so with nine, it would actually end up becoming 45. And so we went through all of these, and these were a little easier since they only had nines, which are 45, threes, which are 15, sixes, which are 30, and 12s, which are just the o'clock. So this would be 10 o'clock. We also went over how the hour hand only points directly at the number at, 10, at the o'clock when it's exactly that time. And otherwise it would always be in between the two numbers. So after looking at this easier worksheet, we then went on to this one where it was at various five minute intervals, everywhere from here, which would be 05, over here to 35. And we talked about how over here, although it looks like the hour hand is pointing at the 11, we know that the hour hand only points directly at the number if, it's on, if the minute hand is on top of the 12. Since it's not, we know that this hour hand is actually in between 10 and 11. And if it's in between, it always goes to the number before. So that's how we know this is actually 1055 and not 1155. And then finally, after practicing, figuring out what time it is from the clock, we then looked at the numbers instead and tried to draw the clock based on them, this time upgrading to just singular minute intervals. And so here, if it's a two, you would draw the hour hand in between the two and the three, in this case, closer to the three, because it's almost three o'clock. And then you would draw the minute hand exactly at the 46 minute. And so we just went through all of these examples and we're able to learn a lot about how to tell time.